It was standing room only this morning in a U.S. bankruptcy courthouse in Chattanooga where people were demanding answers from the man they say ran a Ponzi scheme. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 5. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. For the first time, those creditors met together today to hear from the trustee in that case. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin was at the meeting. He joins us now with those details. Jerry. Hey, Calvin. Latricia. Well, over 30 investors were at today's meeting, all hoping to hear from Jack Brown. And today's meeting was different from what many expected. Today, many people walked out the U.S. bankruptcy courthouse building. Many say the process of getting their money back is taking too long. I really need my money. I'm not somebody that's rich like a lot of these people. Most of them came to hear what Jack Brown, the owner of Brown's tax service, had to say. But today's scheduled phone conference call from Brown's hospital bed never happened. We went to his hospital room to try to conduct the meeting, and uh, he was having some issues, and so I decided to uh, postpone it. Shelby Barnes says she lost $47,000 after investing with Jack Brown, and she's like many who will tell you Brown deserves punishment. I think he needs to be in, uh, in prison, if you want to know my honest opinion. Because they, they, they got to be some place that he can be put, and his family is involved too. He should uh, step up and tell people what he's done, and uh, if he's got any money, hid away somewhere. Today, trustee Jerry Farinash met with the more than 30 creditors, encouraging each of them to file a claim and seek legal counseling. It's just not a good situation where someone is trying to protect uh, a claim of hundreds of thousands of dollars for them to try to do that in a bankruptcy case by themselves. And while Farinash continues to work to gather assets and investigate what happened to all the money, some investors we talked to say they learn a lot about someone they thought they could trust. I think he's rotten. Rotten to the core. And today we called Brown's attorney and he says Brown is remorseful for what happened. A meeting is scheduled for the 29th to try and speak to Jack Brown by phone again. We're told even at that meeting, Brown will likely plead the fifth. Latricia. All right, Jerry, thanks for that update.